Well, week three has come to an end. The students at school are starting to get into a routine now. Hopefully the children at home, you're seeing that also. Still, the teachers are looking forward to having the students return to school. And for primary school students, that's just one week away on May 25. So there's only one week left of home learning supported by online resources for these students. I need to reiterate though what was in the letter that was sent out. The government is expecting that everyone will be back. It's going to be impossible for the teachers to prepare online lessons for those who choose to stay away while teaching the classroom at the same time. We've been instructed that we need to use our absentee process on students who do not return. If you have any questions about this, you need to contact us. You know, Richmond coach Damien Hardwick has always said that you learn more from your mistakes than your successes, and that's firmly where I would place online learning. It was pleasing to see the feedback in the survey that indicated we'd improved in our delivery and what we made available. Thanks, by the way, to the parents who completed the survey. I've collated the results and the most pleasing for me was the number who indicated that they felt well supported by the school in what was provided. I'll put some expanded results in next week's newsletter. For those of you who collect their children from school, you're going to see some changes. With the restrictions of adults into the school, we're asking that you not leave your vehicle, instead waiting there until your child arrives. This is an area we're putting a lot of time into planning for prior to school returning. So, one week. Thanks for staying the course and for being our partner in learning. Best wishes and God bless.